Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and I'm the creator of the Your Universe channel and I've had a lot of questions lately asking me who I am and what my qualifications are, um, some questions about what my background is and um, also just some other general questions that I would like to answer. So I thought I'd come on and introduce myself, uh, put my face on the camera and talk about my background just a little bit. So. As a child, um, I did not have a horrible upbringing. I had a really good upbringing. I just had a series of things and people um, in my life that made some very instrumental changes to the way I thought life worked and how my brain processed information. At the time, I did not know that, but I do know that. Do know that now. So, in my early twenties, I was very debilitated with anxiety. Um, it became so bad that uh, for quite some time I didn't even leave the house. And it was the most horrible feeling in the entire world. I couldn't explain it to anyone. I felt like I was absolutely crazy. Um, I thought I was a freak. I thought there was something just absolutely wrong with me that could never be fixed. And I put myself into some traditional therapy, which helped a little bit. It didn't really address the deeper issues. and. Um, I was put on all types of medication, and with each one of those medications, if it had a, had a side effect, I endured the entirety of it. So throughout that process, what I learned was that A, I didn't want to be on medication, and B, there had to be a better way to get out of the situation that I was in, because it was ruining every aspect of my life. I couldn't hold a job. <clears throat> I didn't have long lasting deep friendships. Um, it really just affected everything that I, I didn't go out and have fun. It affected every aspect of my life. So I decided that I would go online and figure out what was going on. And what I realized was I was having really severe panic attacks and I had absolutely no idea what that meant. Uh, but it was refreshing to realize that there were other people in the same position and I was not an absolute nutcase that couldn't be cured. And I, interestingly enough, signed up with a gentleman who did neuro-linguistic programming over the phone. And the first thing that he did was assign me the reading of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now, I wasn't much of a reader at the time, but this book really opened my eyes to a whole different way of thinking. And then throughout the process with this gentleman, and we went through the exercises weekly, um, he really, really began to change my life in the most amazing ways. And so I kind of made a statement to myself at that point in time that if I were able to get completely out of that situation and change my life, that I would want to do the same for others. So uh, that's what happened. I worked myself back into, uh, I don't know if I said I couldn't really hold a job, so I started going back to work. And what I did was I began cleaning houses. It was a little bit on the safe side for me because I didn't have a lot of interaction with others and I could make my own schedule. And um, it had its benefits with getting my children from school and things like that. So I was a maid. And um, soon after that, the more strength I found within myself throughout um, the counseling that I was getting from this gentleman and the NLP that exercises that we were doing. And then I would go well above and beyond that, the more strength I found in myself. And then I realized that my marriage was not working at the time. And so we divorced and I kicked myself completely out of the nest. So I went from not even being able to really drive down the street um, to six or eight months later, maybe a year uh, out on my own. And I decided that I would just, if I were going to do it, that I was really going to do it. So I put myself through school. I cleaned houses, single mom, put myself through school. And I earned a master's degree in metaphysical science. And then I earned my PhD in philosophy. I also took um, several NLP courses myself because I found that that was so phenomenal. And what I really learned during that time was that it's the subconscious mind that is the absolute powerhouse of everything. And if you can change your self-image and what you believe about yourself, um, mostly those things are programmed while we're younger. If it's something that's blocking you and you can change it, 
and reinforce a new program, you can literally change your entire life. And so you really can attract and manifest whatever you want because it's the self-image that keeps you within a boundary. It dictates your actions, your thoughts, your beliefs, your behavior. And if you step outside of that line, it corrects you very immediately. So I learned this throughout this process that if I wanted to make a change, all I really had to do was change my self-image. And so I worked on that consistently and consistently. And so I went from maid to doctor and I was able to start counseling and life coaching, which has been an absolute joy and pleasure. Um, I don't even consider it a job because I really, really, really love seeing people go from a position where they think that they cannot change and that their life cannot get any better to realizing that they have that power within them and that it's immense and they can do it. The only thing that it takes is practice and consistency. Consistency. You cannot let your subconscious mind dictate your life. You have to let your conscious mind tell your subconscious mind how your life will run. And that makes all of the difference in the world. And so I wrote my first book called Self Made. I was told, um, I, I sent my book off and I was told by multiple publishers that they were not interested. And then I had another publisher tell me that if I were to build an online following, that they'd be happy to publish my book for me. So that was my goal, was to build a following online. And so then I learned about book trailers, which I didn't know anything about. You could literally create a trailer for your book. But I knew nothing about creating videos, absolutely nothing. And so I bought a program and I got on YouTube and watched a whole lot of 10 year olds show me how to work the program that I purchased. They did a fantastic job because I did not have that knowledge and they were so knowledgeable. So then I learned how to make videos and um, I made a book trailer and then I just was having fun making the videos. It was kind of like a hobby. It became a hobby of mine. And I, so I made some Abraham Hicks videos and I had fun and um, then I realized like this is an avenue that I can reach so many people on so many levels. And then it became just a passion and um, more, way more than a hobby, just a passion for me. So this is where my life has led me to the YouTube channel and I am just absolutely grateful. We have received so much support, so much love, so many kind people and it just feels absolutely wonderful to be able to help others and that's what we get to do every day. So with that said, um, I just wanted to answer one other quick question that was asked and that is how do we implement all of these exercises? Like it's so overwhelming, what do we do? So the goal of the channel is not to overwhelm you. The goal of the channel is to give you as many tools as we can give you to help you change how your subconscious mind works because that's really how the law of attraction works for you. And to give you consistency and duplication even in some cases because you have to keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. The practice is the most important thing. And um, so my answer to that is don't try to implement all the exercises. So pick two or three that work for you and work with them for some time and see what happens. If it doesn't feel good, move on to something else. Or if you've gotten a huge success with one of them, keep at it. If you've gotten a little bit of success from one, go on to another one and try it out. Um, you don't have to use them all. You don't have to overwhelm yourself. Just do what feels good to you. If it feels bad, don't do it. If it feels like a chore, don't do it because then you're offering resistance, which will block everything that you're trying to manifest. So anyway, that's a small introduction to me and um, how the channel got started and also I've had some people ask if I would give exercises in this format versus the documentary style. Everybody learns different so if you have a vote on that please leave it down in the comment section. See you soon.